We're back for some more Tier Zoo, the best breakdown of real life animals with video game like stats that you will ever see on the internet. A very unique thing that nobody asked for, but it's too interesting for me to stop watching. The Raptor tier list. Uh, this is the last video we're going to be shooting today for, for our marathon. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. Maybe we'll actually skip a day. Um, we're a couple of vids in today, so I think this will be a good place to stop. So thank you guys for the video suggestions. Um, the Salmonilla and the Sorrow TV videos I'll be doing with Skitten tomorrow, and I'll holler at you guys then for those. So let's get into it, man. Play. Wait, he wait. Yo, really punched him in the head, bro. Yo! This game has some of the coolest, most unique abilities you could ever think of. From prehensile tails to venomous fangs, it can be tough to choose, but the fact of the matter is, you can't choose all of them. And so while playing, you've almost certainly come across another player with an ability or move you really wish you'd been able to make work with the rest of your build. And while things like venom and camouflage are highly coveted, nothing compares to the jealousy players experience when they realize they'll never unlock flight. While there okay. are three currently available classes that can fly, the poster child of this ability is of course the bird. But talking about flight only scratches the surface of what bird builds are capable of. So which bird performs the best in the current meta? Which abilities are crucial to their success? Is flight even necessary to be top tier? Birds are awesome and also extremely diverse. Making an exhaustive bird tier list would take such a long time that I'm pretty sure by the time I'd finished making it, YouTube's algorithm would have left me behind. So instead, <laughs> I'm gonna need to divide up birds into a few separate videos. Okay. I'll start with the group I get the most requests about, Birds of Prey. As a whole, they tend to range from B tier and up, and kind of function as the gatekeepers of the meta. If you know the matchup, use cover, and have good Ooh. fundamentals, you shouldn't have too tough a time. But if you make a mistake, these guys are built to punish it and punish it hard. Yeah. At the end of the video, I'll also talk about some of the advanced techniques birds are using to advance the meta. But first, let's get through this tier list. As always, we'll start low and move up from there. So in low B tier, we've got Owls. Owls oh, are the I premier owls. stealth assassin of the night I sky. I think they're so cool. They've got a special ability which allows them to fly silently, meaning many ground-based players don't really have any defense against this, since they can neither see nor hear an owl coming. Not only does this make exploration at night near impossible for smaller builds like rodents and lizards, <laughs> yeah. but it can even pose a threat to other nocturnal rogues, like cats, raccoons, and opossums. While this is definitely a powerful combo, owls are not top tier for a few reasons. First, their stealth strike attack doesn't actually do all that much damage. If the target keeps its footing, an owl player has basically no options aside from Yo, he, was like, he was like, yo, what are you doing? Second, the owl's silent flight ability is near useless against bats, because they rely on echolocation rather than hearing or sight. This means they can use their superior mobility to easily dodge owl attacks. If owls had a better matchup against bats, they'd be much more successful and would rise by I, the tier list. That is actually crazy to hear. So I didn't think just because of that. You know, it's an obvious difference, but I didn't think just because of that they wouldn't be top tier. That's insane. But for now, they're sitting comfortably in B tier. Okay. Next up, we've got vultures. While I don't think they've quite perfected the build, they function decently well as tanks. A good tank build needs to be able to accomplish two things. The first is area denial, which vultures do quite well. A few of them can easily lock down a carcass, one of the most contested points of interest you'll ever see on the map. They can do this because of their large size and acidic projectile attack. The other thing a tank must be good at is shrugging off hits, and this is where vultures fall short. Their thick feathers shield them completely from smaller attacks, but because they need hollow bones to be able to fly, blunt forests can easily crush their defenses and take them down in only a hit or two. So while they can defend a carcass from hordes of smaller scavengers, they don't have much counterplay towards bigger, more aggressive Well, yeah, kills. right. If they could, they could potentially even steal kills, and at that point, they'd be really overpowered. Okay. Until they figure out how to pull that off. So they're still B tier. The of B -tier. Switcher. Right, Yo, so in A tier, things chill. are gonna get crowded. There are three A tier guilds of bird I wanna talk about, but since they all overlap on the tier list, I'm instead going to first talk about the guild traits and then talk about what I think the S tier members of each guild are. So it, in a rare display, it's actually slamming a lot into this video. You must be feeling the time crunch. This was back in uh, 2018. The guilds I'm talking about are Hawks, Falcons, and Eagles. Hawks, Falcons, all pretty similar, eagles. with a few key differences. 
All three are diurnal ambush style builds, and all are nightmares for inexperienced players. Hawks and Eagles are mostly the same. Both deal most of their damage using their extremely powerful claws to slice and grab their targets. You just came Hawks up and are just smaller took his and much more nimble in the air. Since they can make much tighter turns, this means they're better at dodging wow. obstacles than most other birds of prey. The best hawk build without a doubt is the Gosshawk. Gosshawks are one of the best hyper-aggressive rushdown builds in the game, <laughs> yeah. being able to weave through dense forests at breakneck speed. In biomes chock full of players who specialize in mobility, Gosshawks still manage to reign supreme. Eagles share just about everything in common with Hawks, but trade a bit of mobility in exchange for sheer size. I'm about to say they're huge. Eagles though. are easily the most heavily armed birds of prey. Their sickle claws able to inflict crazy high damage on anything caught in their sights. Most eagles have a wingspan so wide that, that is, it bro. inhibits them from entering forests or jungles. And so meadows, mountainsides, and plains tend to be an eagle's favorite places to patrol. With the exception of the highest ranking eagle on the list, the Harpy Eagle. Whew. The Harpy Eagle build modifies the core eagle setup in two important ways. The first is that they've got a greatly reduced wingspan, much shorter than an eagle of its size should have. This cuts its ability to soar by quite a bit, but it lets it fly through jungle much easier. The second is that they've got truly monstrous claws, larger and more powerful than all other birds of prey. Bro, look at the size of that claw, fam. Not only can they insta-give monkey and sloth players, but they can even pierce armor. This means that not even highly defensive builds like the armadillo are safe from this jungle menace. Now, a player with little raptor experience might be under the impression that falcons and hawks are fundamentally the same. And while they do share some traits, such as their high aerial mobility, their core hunting strategy is actually fairly different. While hawks and eagles use their talons as their main source of damage, falcons actually rely on their beak. The hmm. falcon build augments its beak with a special tooth that deals massive damage on critical hits. Now obviously because of its tiny hitbox, it can be difficult to actually score a hit with this dangerous beak, so falcons need a way to combo into it. And? Eagles, owls, and hawks don't have this issue since they just grab using their talons, but a falcon's talons aren't really that great at this either. So Falcon it, talons. instead, okay. they make a fist with their feet and die Whoa! Their This stuns them and makes landing the finishing blow with their beak easy. This is demonstrated best by the peregrine falcon, whose near supersonic speeds allow it to knock other birds out of the sky <laughs> with basically no counterplay. That is like insane! Like I said, all of the standout members of these guilds have a strong argument for S tier, as do the last two raptors on my list today. The Osprey easily has the best air to water matchup in the entire game. It really just feels unfair to fish players, as none of their normal counterplay options work. Their claws go straight through armored scales, and even the stealthier fish can be seen from the sky by this build. Mm. As an added bonus, the barbs on the talons of the osprey make its grab inescapable. With the exception of the arctic, where fish players can use the cover provided by ice to avoid getting caught. Ospreys are an ever-present threat. They're successful on every major server because they're just that good at what they do. This Amazing. last build is, in my opinion, the dark horse of the raptor meta. It's got an incredibly strong matchup spread in one of the hardest servers the game has ever seen. And yet, it isn't very well known, possibly because of its unassuming name, the Secretary Bird. Secretary birds are easily I've the best seen, yeah, option yeah, for someone who was a Velociraptor main in a previous expansion. Hunting on foot and in pairs, yep. they prove time and time again that striking feet, from bro. the sky is overrated. Yep. They can easily defeat other high tier builds out. such as the Cobra and the Mongoose with their high damage kicks. Yep. Their stomp move has extremely high accuracy, allowing Secretary Bird players to score game-ending headshots with ease. And they do all of this without completely sacrificing their flight ability. If they ever find themselves outmatched, which only ever happens against builds in higher weight classes, they can still retreat to the sky or treetops. The fact that this strategy works in Africa, one of the most unforgiving servers of all time, is proof enough to me that this is the optimal raptor. Now, normally I'd expect intelligence-based birds like corvids and parrots to be the ones really advancing the bird meta to new heights, but surprisingly some of the most impressive advanced techniques have come from the raptors. Eagles have been known to eliminate targets by knocking them off of cliffs or mountainsides and essentially letting wow. the physics engine of the game do the work for them. And several Australian hawks and falcons have been seen intentionally spreading fire, destroying cover and leaving targets without what? any defensive options. What? Well, that about sums it up for this video. So thanks for watching everyone. If wow. you're interested in exploring the meta further, yep. be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. The Tier Zoo has made an incredible compilation and uh, uh, the most comprehensive I, that I've seen of, a, of, you know, balancing of all animal types, you know, and it's so interesting because of the, you know, just like, so like based on their effectiveness, 
You know, like all the documentaries that are posted, you think that this would be easier to do, but there's a, quite a bit of debate. Even after he gives such a clear breakdown of his opinion, there's still a big debate about what really is S tier. You know, if he keeps going for like another year or so, it's going to be really fun to see a graph of the complete breakdown uh, of animal tiers. I think, of course, breaking them down by guild is actually an easier way to do it. That leaves more room for, you know, like future more in-depth videos and things like that. But I think what me and other people are waiting to see is just a complete breakdown first, you know, of, of like, you know, every server, every animal type, every build type that we can think of first. And then kind of going back in and like filling in the blanks. Kind of like how Death Battle did it where they started with like the biggest battles they could find. And then find like more specific battles for the community to enjoy. So he's on an amazing track. Please check out his YouTube channel of course. This dad is amazing. Crocs. And uh, Crocs. uh, uh Crocs. I'll you guys dude. Crocs. 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 I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned. Wearing Crocs, my Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs.